let's take a look at a typical reverse engineering job in RapidForm XOR. In this example, we'll create a parametric solid model of a centrifugal compressor wheel, like what might be used in a car's turbocharger. After we scan the part, we have a mesh model of the impeller. To build the CAD model, we start by using XOR's automatic feature recognition. The software detects the features of the part and displays them as different colored regions. From here, we'll approach the reverse engineering process just like we would design this part in any CAD software. Let's start with the hub. XOR automatically extracts the profile of the hub, and then we sketch on the profile. XOR handles the work of making sure it's accurate by snapping to the scan data. We can even see the deviation of the sketch to the scan, so we can decide how to balance accuracy with achieving the design intent of the part. Once the sketch is made, we perform a revolve based on the center axis that XOR also calculates for us. Now that we've got the hub designed, let's move on to the veins. Normally, creating complex surface geometry of the leading and trailing sides of a vein takes painstaking creation of splines and lofted surfaces. Not with XOR though. Just a few clicks and the loft wizard takes care of everything. Next, we need to extract the outer profile of the veins, so we follow the same process we used to design the hub. Once we have our sketch made, we'll revolve a surface, which we'll use to trim back the vein. Notice how we have perfectly sharp edges. Finally, we pattern the veins around the center axis and merge all of our features together into a single solid model. We add some fillets using XOR's magic wand tool, which calculates the fillet radius for us automatically. Now we've got a complete, parametric solid model inside RapidForm. Before we finish, we'll check the accuracy of our CAD model back to the original scan data. If anything is out of tolerance, we can just go back and edit that feature and everything will update automatically. If we want to open the model in our CAD software, we use XOR's Live Transfer function to transfer the entire feature tree over. XOR supports Live Transfer to SolidWorks, Siemens NX, and Creo Elements Pro, formerly Pro Engineer. XOR can also send non-feature tree models to AutoCAD and CATIA. In this example, we'll transfer the compressor wheel over to SolidWorks. XOR communicates directly with the CAD software and sends over each feature from the feature tree. It's like watching your design process and fast forward. The CAD software will rebuild the model feature by feature based on the history tree we created in XOR. There's no need to manually transfer or rearrange features. Sometimes a feature won't build correctly in the CAD software, so XOR pauses the live transfer process so we can ensure the feature will work after transfer. We'll work through a few of these incompatible features during the live transfer, and when we're done, we have a complete, native, solid model that is fully editable in SolidWorks, Siemens NX, and Creo Elements Pro. The process of reverse engineering this part in RapidForm XOR and live transferring it into CAD software takes less than an hour in total. This is compared to multiple hours or even days to create an accurate CAD model from a 3D scan using regular CAD software.